case of telephone, right? Isaac's got a bone spur, a hernia, a disc not up. He diagnosed an osteosarcoma case for me a month ago. I thought it was a shadow, but turned out to be the tiniest little lesion on x ray. This is more about you than it does him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you even know who Isaac is? No idea. Hey, what's everyone? Oh, a spinal tumor. I read about a case at Mayo where the surgery took 17 hours. The head surgeon had four rotating assistants, one of whom just administered fluids. Okay, you know what? Don't try and look superior your way on this. This is my tumor. What happened to the patient at Mayo? He died. That's why it only took 17 hours. Hey, I, I just heard Isaac has an inoperable tumor. It's Isaac's tumor? Okay, yeah, yeah, boo-hoo, okay? Who says it's inoperable? Just enough. Oh, come on, it's all the way up to T2. Oh, that's going to be a How about this? Three or four assistants. Why are you all at your surgeries? Go, get to your ORs. Don't screw with my schedule on day one. For now. You going rogue? I'm doing the surgery I believe in. Against the chief's orders, he'll freak when he finds out. There is a computer schedule saying that I'm doing craniotomies all day. He is not going to find out. No, shh. Don't say anymore, because me, the chief, secret's a bad idea. Hey, I think it is badass. Come on, let's go. This is why you don't go rogue. Look at him. He's cracked. Could have told you this was going to happen. Don't be smuck. This is one of our people's lives at stake. Oh, this is so depressing. Ten hours staring into a spine and we can't figure out what to do. What did you just say? What? No, I did, did I? I didn't. Robbins. They'll stop him. She's at the door. He's in the OR, Shepard. Who's at the door? Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Move. No. Dr. Robbins. I said no. Dr. Shepard is operating on the inside of a man's spinal cord right now. Even the most minor disturbance could cause him to make a mistake on that patient. A patient who happens to work here and whose life I personally would like to see Dr. Shepard save. So, no. You don't get to go in there and be a bully. Not today, Chief. Not on my watch. I totally thought that was going to end different. <laughs> yeah, I'm more like that. How many inches left? Uh, less than two. So if I do my math, we got to um, four or five more hours. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What is it? It's my hand. It's cramping. Damn it. Hey, don't move. Don't move. Two feet dropping. Okay, we're touching the cord. If we disturb it anymore, we're in. Pulse it down to 52. It's getting worse, guys. It's easy, easy. Okay. Don't it's okay. Don't Just move. stay Just still. Easy. I'm going to reach in and... <sighs> but hey, close your eyes and breathe. Okay, it's just a spasm. Get these back up 100 over 68. Have you had anything to drink today, Dr. Andrew? What? Muscle cramps are a sign of dehydration. You went without fluid, so Dr. Gray couldn't get her hands on the retractor. Isn't that right? He's deciding which one to cut. Guessing which one. There's no logical way to make that call. I, I can't get one. I... Oh, my God, Mary, this is so good. Come on, Shepard. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please don't be one.